Hyatt's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It's Wednesday, September 15th, 2021. Let's talk boxing, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now we've all seen our share of robberies. I happen to be in Mexico, just hanging out in the Mazatlan area with a friend. We went into a theater to see Julio Cesar Chavez against Pernell Whitaker. Right? Let me point to Whitaker here. One of the best fighters I've ever seen. Perhaps the best defensive fighter I have ever seen. Whitaker was on his game. Put on a show. Was showing Chavez that he was limited. Right now, Chavez had famously stopped a Whitaker friend, Meldrick Taylor, in the closing seconds of a fight that many people, myself included, thought should not have been stopped. Right? Chavez, after getting spanked by Taylor, knocks Taylor down in the closing seconds of the last round. Right? When I mean the closing seconds, I'm talking about Chavez did not have enough time if they allowed that fight to continue to come back across the ring to hit Taylor again. But referee Richard Steele, a good referee on some nights, not on that night, stopped the fight. So, of course, here you have Taylor's friend in the ring, Taylor's fellow Olympian in the ring, and he's up against Chavez. And in the 12th round, after a masterpiece, Chavez tries to come forward to find Whitaker. If you look at the film, you'll see Whitaker smile at him and wave at him. That fight was over. When they announced the scorecards, they called it a draw. It was terrible, folks. It was terrible. It was so bad that as I was leaving, a bunch of guys surrounded us. I was in the parking lot. These were Chavez fans. And they came over. I speak a little Spanish. And they were saying, lo siento, lo siento. Right? And they explained that they thought Pernell Whitaker had won the fight. Even Chavez supporters knew that Whitaker had won the fight. In an earlier generation, Jersey Joe Walcott knocks down Joe Lewis twice. Twice in a fight. It's so bad that at the end of the fight, in a gesture that was actually magnanimous, Lewis tried to leave the ring before the scorecards were totaled. What Lewis was trying to communicate to everyone is, hey, I lost this fight. It's his night. Walcott beat me. Now Lewis's corner literally convinced him to stay in the ring. Right? Guys literally got between Lewis and the ropes. Would not allow Lewis to leave the ring. So then, of course, they announced one of the biggest robberies in history. They announced that Walcott had lost the fight, that Lewis had won the fight. And Lewis did not raise his hand. Lewis did not celebrate. What Lewis, who was a sportsman, did was he walked across the ring to Walcott's corner. And he shook Walcott's hand. And he said, I'm sorry, Joe. Right? Lewis also gave Walcott an immediate rematch. Folks, Joe Lewis was a great champion. Let's just say... Walcott didn't make it to the ending of that rematch. Now, I just saw one of the most ridiculous fights. I mentioned it in an earlier video. I'm not going to overdo it here. But Oscar Valdez, who has a belt and shouldn't, right? Looked like a great fighter going into this fight. Got completely undressed, right? This was an Emperor 
doesn't have on any clothes on this night type fight. Right? Oscar Valdez clearly lost to Robeson Conceso. Clearly. By several rounds. Conceso thought so. I want you to read the comments from my post-fight video. From the boxing public here. Many of you thought so too and understand. We're not talking about a photo finish like De La Hoya against Whitaker, the two Hall of Famers behind me. We're not talking about a photo finish. We're talking about a fight where, quite frankly, some of you scored the fight 9-3. In the comment section, some are saying, okay, look, you know, I bent over backwards to give rounds for Valdez. I gave Valdez the 12th round, which could have gone either way. And you still scored it 9-3. For the guy they're trying to tell us lost the fight. Well, what I want folks to do, because understand, sometimes the styles are bigger than the fighters, is I want you to look at that fight between Eddie Reynoso, great trainer, one of the best in boxing, Eddie Reynoso's fighter, Oscar Valdez, who was unbeaten going in, and the opponent, Robson Conceso, who was unbeaten and an Olympic gold medalist going in. Right? And what I want you to do is to look at that fight and realize that that's the way many of us, let me raise my hand, that's the way many of us believe that the Canelo Caleb Plant fight is going to go. Right? Valdez has a lot of traits that Canelo has explosive left hook simply explosive right heart of a lion when the fight gets tough and big punches are being thrown Golovkin Canelo 1 Golovkin Canelo 2 Canelo does not panic right Valdez didn't panic in this fight Understand, Canelo was ringside for the Oscar Valdez fight. Understand, Canelo's trainer is Eddie Reynoso. Right? I want you to look at that fight, the valdez Conceso fight. Watch that fight. Right? It's an outrage. And just understand, in part because of that fight, in part because no judge watching a fight that some of us, let me raise my hand, had Conceso winning by at least five rounds. At least five rounds. The only reason I'm not saying six, folks, is because the referee took a point away, and that was dubious, from Conceso for hitting behind the head. By the way, when Valdez hit Conceso behind the head, no point was deducted. By the way, in neither instance was there a warning. Right? Well, just to understand that in a fight that I had the challenger winning by five rounds, no judge, let me repeat that, no judge had can say so within three rounds of Valdez. Right? Let me just tell you. Did you know Pernell Whitaker was so outraged by the scoring in the Oscar De La Hoya fight? And I thought Whitaker won, but I'll agree with those who say Whitaker didn't throw enough punches. Right? Relied too much on defense. I would have liked to have seen Whitaker throw more punches. But Whitaker was so outraged that he took out an ad in the Los Angeles Times. Why the LA Times? Because Oscar's from LA. <laughs> right? Whitaker took out an ad and said, Hey Oscar, you and I both know I won that fight. De La Hoya, in talking about Whitaker, right? And keep in mind, De La Hoya fought Floyd Mayweather. Right? De La Hoya is nothing but complimentary of Whitaker's defensive skills. 
you hear Oscar talk about Whitaker and you might think you're hearing Joe Lewis talk about Jersey Joe Walcott. By the way, for the boxing historians, Walcott, of course, ends up the heavyweight champion because Ezra Charles beats Joe Lewis and Walcott then beats Ezra Charles. Right? Walcott is a champion who loses his title after dominating a fight. He loses his title in the 13th round or so to a guy named Rocky Marciano. Right? A fight that, by the way, Marciano called his toughest. Right? Well, let's get back to this. Politics matters in boxing. Right? This sport is more political than most. Any sport where it's in the hands of the judges, if it goes the distance, is highly political. Right? Many of you doubt that Caleb Plant, who's a stylist, just like Robeson can say so, can KO Canelo, who has a granite chin. Right? Understand, Canelo has never been knocked out. His only loss is to Floyd Mayweather by decision. And Canelo has fought his share of punchers. Right? Canelo fought Miguel Cotto. Canelo fought Golovkin. When Golovkin was unbeaten.